today we are going to discuss major scales. Before we can begin, we have to look at two symbols. This first symbol looks like a staple. We call it a bracket. And whenever we see this bracket, it represents a whole step. The other symbol we're going to learn about before we begin looks like a letter, the letter V. We're going to call it a carrot. And of course, as you already probably figured out, the carrot represents the half step. As you already know, our major scale is represented by either solfege or by numbers, which are called scale degrees. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. It starts on do and it ends on do or with our scale degrees, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Scale degree one and scale degree eight are going to be the same because do, low do and high do are the same. Today, we're going to figure out the formula for our major scale. What is the distance between each note? Between scale degree one and two is this symbol. If you remember from the previous slide, that is our whole step symbol. Between Ray and me, or scale degree two and three, we have another whole step. Between three and four, however, we have a carrot, which represents our half step. So our first half step is between three and four, or me and fa. Next, between four and five, we have another whole step. Between five and six, another whole step. Between six and seven, or la and t, another whole step. And finally, before between seven and eight, we have our last half step. So our scale is whole, whole, half, separated by a whole, and then another whole, whole, half. So if we look at our C major scale, we know C major starts on C and ends on C, and then we go alphabetically changing notes as we go up. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Again, scale degree one and scale degree eight are the same, low C and high C. Our formula remains the same. As we do this, I want you to take a look at a keyboard C to D is a whole step, so we don't have to change any of the pitches. We don't have to alter them in any way. Between D and E, we need another whole step. If we consult our keyboard, we will notice that that is, in fact, a whole step. E and F, we need a half step, and if you look at the keyboard, you will see that there is no black key in between E or F, which makes it a half step. So that's good. We're moving on. Between F and G, we need a whole step. Consulting the keyboard, I see that that is accurate. Between G and A, I need another whole step, which is what I have. Between A and B, I need a whole step. I look at the keyboard, that's what I have. And between B and C, I have another half step. Moving right along. Let's see if that formula also works with the D major scale. How do I know it's a D major scale? Well, it's labeled right here below. And also, remember our keynote is our do. Our keynote, the scale, what the scale is built on, D and D, represents our do. So we know we're in the key of D, that we have a D major scale because we start and end on D, and D is do. Okay, so between D and E, I need a whole step. When I consult my keyboard, I see that is in fact what I have. Between E and F, I need a whole step. But when I look at the keyboard, I don't have a whole step. It's a half step because there's no black key. So what do I do? I move the F up a half step to F sharp. Now I have a half step, a whole step, excuse me. Now I need a half step between F sharp and G. Well, by changing my F to an F sharp, it has created a half step between F sharp and G, so I can move on. Now I need another whole step between G and A. 
If I consult the keyboard, I see that I do in fact have a whole step between G and A. Let me move on. Between A and B, I need another whole step. If I consult my keyboard, I see that I do in fact have that whole step. B and C, I need a whole step, but I do not have it because B and C, there is no black key. So what do I do to my C? I raise it to make it a C sharp. Now I need a half step between C sharp and D, which I have just created. That is it for our sharp major scales. Why don't you go ahead and practice a few on your own? Tune in next time for the flat keys.